We will be doing the Easter eggs and predictions for Season 5, Episode 9 of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Super War. Spoilers have not caught up. So, this episode had a return uh, of uh, Gunner. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he's from Episode 4 of the season, uh, where it was revealed that in that episode, he was uh, re was actually uh, trying to uh, get ready for his newborn arri like arrival. Uh, but I'll talk about more of the, about that later on. But... Uh, a big part of this episode was that uh, Tess returned from the dead, and uh, apparently the Kree describe it as smothering the the fires of the blood of the the of the eternal. Uh, and in the com comics, there is a race called the Eternal. I but I highly doubt that's what they're referring to. Uh, there's possible that because the Eternal means uh, living. Uh, never dying, uh, that they're talking about vampires, uh, and bl uh, talking about blood and all that kind of stuff, because uh, there was a, uh, a tweet a while ago where there was this woman that worked for, uh, Marvel, and apparently she was interviewing, um, Jeff Ward, who plays Deke, and he, uh, they started, ended up talking about, uh, Blade, but that, and they, apparently it's because, uh, Deke's, uh, favorite character, or Jeff's, uh, favorite, uh, character from the comics is Blade, but it's maybe, uh, that it's him, but I highly, it's, I highly doubt that, uh, but the most obvious, plausible, uh, re thing that they're referring to is, uh, what, uh, their Yo-Yo's and Max first guess were, were, was that, they said that Yo uh, Shield has dealt with this type of thing before, bringing people back from the dead with using tree blood. So it's most likely referring to that. Uh, but uh, going back to that phrase, uh, there was called the only drawing, new drawing we saw of Robins, I believe, in this episode is that there's a picture of like five people in like a fiery pit. I don't exactly know what that is. It's possible that they're referring to uh, what's called uh, smothering the fires, the bl uh, blood of the eternal. Maybe m multiple people are coming back to life uh, instead of the one person that a lot of people are assuming. Uh, and I'll get to la later on. But my immediate thought was uh, that they're, wh what they're talking, what that picture was describing was that uh, the plan of Mac Yo Yo and everything about the bombs was actually going to fail because they say that uh, they'll all burn in this episode, uh, and I just assumed that okay, this this does not have like a good out outcome, but it ended up not having uh, that, and then I thought maybe that they uh, actually it, like somehow changed time or like say like change time so no one did die but it's most likely people are going to come back to life and i'll talk about it later on too still uh and uh it's talking about mac and yo-yo i really like their dynamic in this episode because mac uh mac is the protector of the group uh he's uh he's trying to keep uh flint out of the the fight or whatever and then you see yo-yo is the fun parent She's the one that actually is, uh, what's called, treating Flint as an adult, even though he's not an adult, adult yet. Uh, I, so I like that budding head, uh, budding he head of uh, parents, uh, but, yeah. And also, the other, uh, other another, uh, dynamic I like in this episode is that, uh, how fed up May is, uh, to, uh, with Enoch. Like, she's just not ha have having anything to do with him anymore. Uh, but uh, Enoch has a, uh, asks a question, is that saying that, is this the first time that a building was dropped on you? Because uh, in this episode, a building basically crashed near uh, the Zephyr 1, I believe, and it shook the bo the bus, or the Zephyr 1. And, but uh, May's answer was basically no. Uh, and, uh, and I'm assuming she's referring to what happened in the framework, because that was the last, that was the last time a building was dropped on them, unless there was one before that, before that, but, yeah. Uh, 
And in this episode, uh, it, there was two conversations similar to one another, kind of, about how S.H.I.E.L.D. deals with uh, uh, the bad people and how the Lighthouse people deal with bad people. Uh, and uh, Daisy is talking to Deke, and she's saying that killing killing is never the better option. And uh, Deke's Deke's pers- uh, point of view thing sa- is saying that unless it helps uh, people from like ha- or protecting people from pain and, s- pain and suffering and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and he's outright says, "Mate, you've probably done it before," uh, but I can't personally think of anything any time before that happened. Like, that she killed anyone, uh, that, uh, actually, yeah, she's, she's done it before, where, uh, people w- were in danger, so she had to go out and shoot people. She's never actually outright did it for, out for revenge, like, uh, Deke is, because Deke's par- uh, dad was killed, uh, but it's also possible that he's referring to maybe a possible future, where, uh, Daisy, uh, blew up the earth to and killed a bunch of people to save m- other people's life. So, yeah. But I highly highly doubt that. But on Coulson's end where he's talking to Voss and uh Coulson has uh says that it's not how he rolls. He doesn't uh sh- kill unarmed people and a lot of people will probably have issue with that. Because there was one one instance that he did kill a, a unarmed person, uh, but uh, that is Ward. Uh, he's never killed anyone that wasn't kill, trying to kill them. Like I said with Daisy, but and in like in the instance, Ward was unarmed. He had no gun, no no weapon or whatever. But he did attack first. He did attack Coulson. So Coulson had no other option but to stop. War, put put war down, like so, yeah. Uh, but I'm not gonna continue that conversation there because I I don't want this video to be long. Uh, but uh, a big part of this episode or these conversations is that uh, we get a uh, version of what uh, Voss apparently uh, heard about what happened on Earth. Uh, he says that. Uh, there was a light in the sky, aliens I heard, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. tried to stop it, and failed. Brought, the, brought hell to Earth, that was the start, and your girl finished it. And a lot of people are assuming that is referring to uh, Infinity War, and I, like I've said before, I believe, I highly doubt it, because it, like this season would be very pointless if they cannot resolve this whole uh, destruction of Earth in this season. If they can't. If you can't stop that, then that the season would be pointless. Uh, so I highly doubt that. I'm assuming he's referring to what happened in Avengers One, because uh, we know in the Avengers One there was a light in the sky. We don't know if that's an Affinity War. We know there was aliens. Uh, Shield tr- did try to stop it, uh, and the only way to actually have. Uh, like content, like actually stopped it, uh, was, uh, was called the Avengers. So, Shield did try to stop it until, and they had to get the Avengers involved to stop it. Uh, but then Hell bro- uh, Hell came to Earth. Uh, so that means like more aliens, uh, robots being built, uh, uh Hydra being ex- uh like uncovered. So, yes, Hell broke loose after that point. Uh, and then you also have everything you see in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., where a lot of stuff happened in this uh, last five seasons. So, yeah, Hell broke loose after Avengers 1. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but the only prediction I have uh, is who the Seer is. And my first thoughts, I know they wouldn't, my, it wouldn't make sense. Uh, was that Reyna was somehow brought back to life and is Cassius this year, but I highly doubt that. Uh, there's, I, I know this wouldn't happen either, but there's a character from, uh, the Inhumans, uh, called Bernaja. He was, uh, 
person that could see the future. But I highly doubt that too, because not a lot of people liked the Inhuman show. So I ha- I highly doubt they're gonna actually uh, connect it anytime soon. But the most popular theory going around is that Yo-Yo is the seer, because we know in uh, the 2022 uh, flashbacks uh, that Yo-Yo went to go see uh, go kill the uh, Kree, uh, so to try to prevent. Uh, all this stuff from happening, but and, uh, and we never got a conclusion of what actually ha- happened. But in this episode, uh, we find out that uh, Kasaya snows Yo Yo somehow, some some way, uh, and uh, so I'm we're a lot of people are assuming that she he was he brought back Yo Yo from the dead, and uh, is now using her as. Uh, her, his seer that would know everything that happened or is going to happen now. Uh, so yeah, but I'm taking it. I'm taking this a bit one step further because uh, it's never was never revealed as far as I could tell or remember. Because uh, uh, but how the Kree are creating these uh, humans or slash inhumans because we know in this lighthouse of 2091. Uh, the all the humans are sterile, so they cannot make babies or whatever like that. Uh, and uh, that the babies are being created in a lab somehow with blo- uh, DNA or whatever. Unless uh, whoever wanted whoever wants babies donates their like gives up their blood for for the cre- to create the humans. Cause that's the only way I can think of how it happens. Uh, would that would be the only other way, but you know that would not make sense because I unless uh what's called the Kree's DNA and the humans DNA is actually creates the inhumans, but uh I I would assume he, they would want to make it a uh, like one way like a different uh, like an easier way to do this would if they wanted human inhumans. You would think they would use human in in human DNA instead of just human DNA to make it more sh- like sh- uh, sure that that the people that are going to be born would become in hu- in humans. So maybe at some point between twenty twenty two and twenty ninety one, uh, Yo Yo fought like we know fought fought the Kree, then uh maybe died or whatever was put into a cube, like one of those containers that were similar to what uh, uh, the Kree did, uh, the shield did with the Kree from Tahiti, kept her alive or whatever, did te- did test on her, figure out how to create babies using her DNA, and that's what happens. But uh, that's just my theory, because I... So, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, is that... Yo Yo is the the mother of all these inhuman tra- like all these childs children. So yeah. Uh comment down below if I missed any Easter eggs or references. Uh see ya.